cutting off contact should come up with a solid decision of letting them go. Having problems, you may be waking up having your heart broken. It's fine. At least you woke up. Hindi mo to ginagawa para sa kanya. Ginagawa mo to para sa iyo. Even if you're against the world, that you will always have a god beside you or behind you. Ay, most of the time kasi hindi natin alam, kala natin, di ba, may mga pagkakataon na dapat mag-start lang tayong mag-move on pag wala na tayong feelings noon sa taong yun. Well, that's wrong. To be honest with you, there's a huge possibility for us to actually start the process of forgetting them, of moving on with our lives, of somehow, day by day, choosing ourselves every single day a little bit more so that one day, magigising tayo na mas mahal na natin yung sarili natin kesa sa kanila. At yes, kaibigan, pwedeng-pwede po nating gawin yon kahit na may feelings pa tayo sa kanila. You have to cut off contact. That's number one rule. Cutting off contact basically allows you to remove further distractions from the person you want to get away from. But cutting off contact should come up with a solid decision of letting them go. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kasi may mga pagkakataon na ipoblock mo nga siya, hindi mo siya message. Pero there will be times where you miss them since you just did the action without backing it up with pure decision that you needed to move forward to this and you want to cut everything off. You decided for yourself that this is enough. That's the reason why yung mga nagka-cut off ng contact, they cannot sustain it. Half-baked yung decision nila. What you don't know won't hurt you. Isa, isa ito sa pinakamagandang reason. You only get affected on things that you know. Now, since you made a decision that you don't want to find out anything about this person, you cut off contact, you remove them from your mind. That's how you can move on even if you still love them. But it should be back with a solid decision that you don't want to be with this person anymore, that you wanted to move forward. Sipin mo yung feeling na may 2 million ka. Sarap ng pakiramdam, di ba? Pero bakit pag tinanong ko na may 2 million ka pero hindi ka na magigising bukas? Hindi mo gusto yun, di ba? So that's how you're supposed to treat every single day you wake up in the morning. You have to feel as if you have 2 million. You have way more than 2 million. That kind of feeling because you woke up. That's how valuable a day is every single time we open our eyes and wake up. Perspective, my friends. You may be waking up having problems. You may be waking up having your heart broken. It's fine. At least you woke up. It's okay to feel what you feel. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to long for them. It's okay to even love them from afar. But what's not okay is that if you feel the pain and you allow it to destroy other relationships in your life, all those negative feelings that you have right now. Pero hindi okay kung yung feelings na nararamdaman mo ngayon, you'd allow them na umabsent ka ng work mo kasi buong araw ka at buong magdamag kang tulala. Miiyak. Hindi okay na porket you're feeling the pain, you're removing contact from your friends and your families that hence it would also further destroy other relationships that you have other than the ones that is already lost which is the one that you have from the person that you're trying to move away from madalas kasi pag nagfi-feel ka ng pain kung umiiyak ka madalas naaapektuhan din ng ibang aspeto ng buhay though i would totally understand if that was the case but most of us really don't realize na dapat hindi natin hinahayaan yung sarili nating maapektuhan yung ibang aspeto ng buhay natin. That person already destroyed your heart. Would you allow them to destroy your life too? Hindi lang love life posibleng mawala sa'yo. Pwede din career. Pwede din yung relationship mo sa parents mo. Pwede din yung relationship mo sa mga friends mo. Control the damage. Hayaan mo ng puso lang yung mawasak mo. Huwag yung buhay mo. Most of us kasi when we feel the pain, we tend to focus on it so much. What the mind focuses on, yun lang madalas ang ginagawa at iniisip natin palagi. I'm not trying to tell you na wala kang karapatang masaktan. Alam ko yun. Most of us, specifically right now, we tend to laugh at people who's heartbroken. And most of us tends to disregard the feeling of the person, either our friends or the people that is around us. It's because we're on a much more better place. Pero this is where I want you to deploy empathy to those people who's feeling the kind of feeling you felt before. Whenever we see someone who's going through that kind of difficulty, even if we don't feel it right now, but let's try to empathize. And how you can empathize is by looking back, feeling the things that you felt on that specific moment na nasaktan ka.
And most of the time, people really don't realize that there are better things that is happening in our lives other than just us not being with the person that we decide to be with. Kasi kung ano yung nawala, madalas yun lang yung focus natin. But we fail to always deploy the value of gratitude. That pain becomes amplified because we tend to just focus on it, the thing that was lost. But have you asked yourself on the things that you still have, which is your work, which is your life, the health of you and your family, the relationships that you still have with your friends? You might be in a dream job right now, financial stability. I don't know, anything. Anything you should be grateful for. A house, a car, a capability of eating three times a day. Because if you begin to think the things that you have right now, and somehow balance it and not just focus on the things that you lost. It might not totally remove the pain, but it lessens it. Just have specific perspective in life, thinking that somehow it could have been worse. I want you to understand that since you already have that worst feeling right now, that pain, that suffering, the feeling of loss, there's no way but up. One day, Trust me when I tell you, one day you will recover from that pain. One day, God will send someone to make you realize that those pain was all worth it. I want you to understand that there's gonna be better days ahead and start living in the now. Accept the things that you're feeling, stop looking back on what could have been, and start doing things for your future self. Do things that would make your future you thank you. Again ha, hindi mo to ginagawa para sa kanya. Ginagawa mo to para sa iyo. Pagpapatawad ay isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit mas makaka-move on ka ng mas mabilis. Give yourself time. Isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit nahihirapan kang mag-move forward is because you have lack of love for yourself. Na mas mahal mo siya kaysa sa mahal mo ikaw. Kung mahal mo din yung sarili mo, you're not gonna allow yourself to feel that way. Treat yourself like someone you love. Sa mga nagmo-move on ngayon, kahit na mahal pa natin yung taong pinagmo-move on na natin, Isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo nahihirapan, kasi sa tingin natin, wala nagpamahal din sa atin eh. We can always look back to the person who never left in the first place. Find love in God. Having the knowledge that whatever happens, even if you're against the world or the world is against you, that you will always have a God beside you or behind you. That empowers you. And I want to share that thinking that somehow it gives you tremendous strength you think you don't have. Maybe you've been looking for the love in all the wrong places. If you're someone who's watching right now and having difficulty, just find love in God. I, I think that's the perfect place to start. And don't just come to Him <laughs> when whenever there's bad times in your life. Be with Him as well on the good times too. God will never leave you. He never left in the first place. You just was not looking at the right place for love. And I hope this gives you a message. Find love. Find love in Him.